All right, so here we are, Trafalgar Square, London, once again. It's Halloween, so we're going to show the scariest movie ever made and hand out some vegan-friendly candy. Let's do it. This is the scariest Halloween film ever made. What, it's a movie? So it's not real? No, this is uh, actual slaughter practices. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just like a joke. Oh, right. This is a gas chamber. It's where bacon comes from. This is a gas chamber. Oh. So they have them here. Abattoir? It's a nice word for it, isn't it? Abattoir. Yeah. How old are these? He's 14. Are you giving permission for them to yes. watch this? Yes. What are, you, what are they watching? They're watching a very violent, scary movie. Are you a Peter? No. No. I work for the animals. That's horrible what they yeah. do, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. What, and they're alive? Well, they Do were you alive. Agree with that? Do I agree with it? Yeah. One hundred percent, no. No, same as me. These are male chicks. Do you know why they're grinding them up alive? Um, is it for chicken nuggets? No, because they don't produce eggs. Oh. So they just okay. killed them on their first day of life once they recognise they're a male. Wow. That's crazy. I've seen this. They kill the male birds, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Why do they do that? Because the female ones are the only ones that produce eggs. Yeah. So they they got no use for the male ones. They kill them straight away when they first hatch. Yeah. yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh. No, 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 no! <laughs> wow. They're male baby chicks. They're dropping them in a blender. For chicken nuggets? No, they won't produce eggs, so they're disposing of them. Standard. Wow. They don't lay eggs. Eggs? They just hatched. Wow. It's their first day of life. Did you know about this? Yeah, I, I, I didn't know it was this bad though. Oh my god. Oh, they all had a head at some stage, didn't they? This is us backyard uh, turkey slaughter. This is like your common backyard slaughter of turkeys. They all had a head at one stage, didn't they? I think it's a space where this shit can still like be allowed and it's not yeah. illegal. I agree with you. Oh. Turkeys? No! Yeah. They all had a head. I'm not sure if you eat any of these animals or? I actually do. Because yeah. I'm not vegetarian or vegan. These are bobby calves, male calves in the dairy industry. They're of no use, they don't produce milk. So they're just killed straight away, are they? Sometimes three days after birth, they're taken away and killed. It just makes me sick, man. This is a dairy cow. Yeah, I'm quite shocked. Yeah. I mean, because... That's terrible, isn't it? It's disgusting. Those bolt guns they were using. Is it a bolt gun? It's a bolt gun, yeah. These are bobby calves from the dairy industry. They don't produce milk. Do you know why they're killing them? Because they don't produce milk. Excellent. Well, you know a lot about this. This is a, a dairy cow that doesn't produce milk anymore. Oh. Let's fucking settle down. Oh. They're trying to escape the knockbox. They're very terrified. Like a horror movie, eh? Interesting how they're trying to escape, yeah? They have no way to escape to. No. None of them come out alive. This one tried to escape, so he's cutting his head off. Interesting how the animals are trying to escape, hey? Yeah. Fucking dragging him all across the floor. Yeah. It's really awful, isn't it? Yeah. And then we got fish as well, Suff suffering. Yeah, because then they can't breathe because yeah. they have to go uh, be in the in the water. What do you think about fish? Do you think they suffer? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They, Are you guys in uni? Living things, aren't they? Uh, college. College. Yeah, we're studying this sort of stuff at the moment in our course. Yeah, we do course. animal welfare. Oh wow. Fish. Do you think fish suffer? Fish. I don't know. Because yeah. they they drown in air. 
Suffocating, yeah? Yeah. Like slaughterhouses on the ocean. Do you think fish can suffer? Of course. Yeah. That is... Suffocate. That is suffering, yeah. Well, oh, it's very... I feel very sorry for the animals. Yeah. Like that. What does this look like to you? This whole scene here. Looks like a horror movie, doesn't it, really? Yeah. In the UK, a lot of the butchering tends to be shielded as in all this is done behind closed doors. Of course, so yeah. a lot of people are really unaware of the true, like, truly how horrible it is for the people, for the animals that are, in fact, people going through it. It's disgusting. Yeah. Government allowed this? Yeah, yeah, well, a lot of this is standard practice. Some of it is, like, a bit of the worst stuff, but it's interesting how you refer to the animals as people. Like, you see us very similar in, the w in, in many ways. I guess so. I think often it's quite easy to isolate yourself between animals and yeah. human beings, but... Yeah. At the end of the day, they breathe the same air as us, they live on the same ground as us, they should share the same rights as us. So. That's very interesting uh, perspective. They are sentient like us, they feel pain like us, they want to avoid pain like us. For sure, for sure. They wouldn't do this sort of shit to a person, would they? There's so many laws around that, but an animal, it's a free country. This there. is legally sanctioned by yeah. the government, so... And humans being granted dominion over animals, we shouldn't be treating them like this, but rather yeah. helping to nurture them. So. Dominion, yeah, like dominion could mean like guardian. Yeah, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Definitely. Like we have dominion over children as well. We guard them. We don't kill them. No. <laughs> and this is what people see. Yeah. This is all they this see. This is what I'm saying. This is it's all shielded, so you're only left with the end image of this. So. And this is what the public see. They don't see anything else. Mm. They just see packages. Got the packaging, yeah. Supermarket. There they are, they're packaged. You don't see the animal there, do you? No. And this is all people actually see. The packages. Put the videos on how the, that meat should have come. In yeah. On top of the... Uh, the on food. top of the package? Yeah. Yeah. It's the end product. And that's what you see in the supermarket. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You just make the connection there? Yeah. Yeah. So that shredding was horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. I just don't see how people could do that to them without like feeling bad about it. Yeah, I agree. Why are why are they doing that to the animals though? Do you think they chose chose that job or? Probably just well, what they could do. I don't think it's a first choice. No, I agree with that. Yeah. I think they do it every day, and it's like becomes normal for them to do that kind of stuff. I agree. Oh, I, I literally have no words. I don't. I don't know what to say. Do you feel disturbed that that, that your stomach is a resting place for their bodies? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Does that disturb you? It disturbs me. Like yeah. I used to eat meat. Yeah. 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 I feel disturbed by it. Like they were. They're, they're, I was like a tomb for them. Wow. Tell us how you feel before we finish well, up. Yeah, I'm very very shocked. Yeah. Now I feel like I don't want to eat meat no more. Yeah. If that's happening, and that's in the UK as well, UK and Australia. Australia. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. I'm a bit lost for words, to yeah, be honest. I, I completely understand, bro. Yeah. I, I, that's how I feel. I don't... Because I love animals. Yeah, yeah. You love animals well. Yeah, I know I eat. So did I. But I didn't think it'd be like that. What did you think? Did you ever imagine it, or...? I, I never thought that happened. Yeah, because yeah, you don't see that process and they never show you when you're a kid or anything like that? No, no. Wow. And I'm uh, 46 years wow. old. Yeah. Here's my birthday. Wow. Yeah, Happy I'm 46 birthday. now. I didn't know till I was about 26. Yeah, well now I know now. <laughs> yeah. wow. It took me this long to, know, to realize that happened. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on this? Um, it's it's like it's the reality, isn't it? Um, I think everyone should at least be somewhat aware. Yeah. Even if they're going to continue eating meat, they should see like they should be subject to videos like this, just so they have that understanding of where their food's yeah. coming from, at the very least. And then, like like he said, we're all just trying to cut down our meat consumption little yeah. by little. Yeah. Um, that's the reality of um, the meat industry, really. Okay, well, tell me your thoughts. Uh, crazy because you don't like realize how how intense it is before. Yeah, yeah it's true. Yeah. yeah, it's just so cruel. It's inhumane. I think. Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? I, I don't eat meat, so yeah. I've seen many videos like this. So, wow. What do you think about the dairy industry and the cows? Oh, that's fucked up. 
to reevaluated your consumption of dairy and eggs and all that? Uh, I don't eat eggs either. Oh wow! I the only, I take milk products though. Yeah. So I've heard about the insemination and yeah. it's raping cows. It's basically rape. It's not. Yeah. yeah they just yeah. yeah. I've cut down on it, but I'm not. I'm, I don't. I can't give up cheese. It's very difficult. I'm trying to. I'm, I've tried. I've tried to cut down cheese and dairy, but like curd is a big part of. Paneer. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. So I'll, it's a big part of the culture, and it's for me. Uh, like I don't believe in God, but my ha- family is religious, and they. It's a big part of their religious. Yeah, sacred. Custom. The the dairy products. Butter is, is very sa- butter is very sacred. Ghee. Butter and ghee. Yeah. So. It doesn't look. To be honest, doesn't look very godly. It's not holy at all. No. This is not holy at all. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. How, about, how about you, my friend? How do you feel after seeing that? Have you seen anything like this before? Or? Absolutely. You have. I have. I have. Do you, does it affect you emotionally? Definitely, yeah, else does. I'd be a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. But I haven't cut down on meat yet. You haven't. I haven't. Uh, I still consume milk. Okay. But. Um, um, on the fence, I guess. Yeah. So you would be against this morally, but it's just in practice, in your day-to-day life, you fund the, the industry or you consume the products of this violence, but in, in your heart, you're against this. Is that... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Um, definitely has to be cut down a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you know who the maker of this horror movie is? No. Human beings. Human beings who can either pay for these industries to happen, consume the flesh, uh, put these places in business, and those who are committing the atrocities to supply those who want to consume the flesh. Who are the makers of this horror movie collectively? I suppose we are. Yeah. Kind of, we all fund it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do, you, do you believe the same thing? Mm, yes. Yeah. yeah. Without our consumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the maker. You are the collective makers of this you can horror film. Say it's, it's funded by the people, no? Yeah, it's yeah. funded by us. It's funded yeah. by our shopping, our negligence towards a lot of things. Yeah. So we are perhaps the directors yeah. of this, the horrible, the most, the, well, the scariest film on earth. It's yeah. us. Wow. We directed it. Yeah, but who do you think's responsible for this? The government. Government? You wouldn't put any onus on the consumer? Oh yeah, no. I mean, it's all about supply and demand, isn't it? The more yeah. people who want to eat it, the more they're gonna. More animals are going to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we all stop funding these industries, what happens to them? They'll fall apart, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. They rely on sort of consumers' ignorance to what's going on, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You guys eat animals' products or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. So what can you do about it? I suppose don't buy meat. That's oh, well, I don't no, know. I mean, like, that's too extreme. You can't just. Too extreme? Or like. No. It's too extreme for you? I mean like, just what? imagine it, a life without <laughs> meat. Thought about plant-based or vegan eating? Um, I've thought of vegetarianism, not veganism. Yeah. That's a bit too extreme for me. Really? I don't think I could go there. Yeah. Interesting. And you saw the uh, male chicks being ground up alive and the dairy cow being stabbed in the throat. Yeah. You don't think those things are more extreme than choosing uh, maybe plant-based milk or...? Yeah, no, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> How can you how can you eat meat without ensuring that it that it hasn't been like slaughtered or or like cut up so badly? Well, there's plant-based meat called Beyond Meat. Uh, there's many plant-based meat options. Yeah. So f- f- for chicken and for beef and you know lamb. Yeah, yeah. Made out of plants. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, I don't know. Like. That's how you can ensure there's no slaughter. Yeah, there's no slaughter, but. Yeah. I, I just. I, t- I don't know, like... Yeah, I mean, yeah. You seem pretty lost for words. Yeah. Like, I understand. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. you can't really explain yeah. what to do. No. Yeah. Like, you're it talking about... Of, yeah. You would take incremental steps to vegetarian and then... Or you just would never think about vegan? I don't know. I mean, it, at the moment, because I do eat meat, veganism is just too far out for me. But yeah. I think the more I wean myself off of meat and meat and, you know, meat-based products and things like that, yeah. I think the more of a better outlook I would have on veganism oh, wow. and things like that. You guys uh, thought about plant-based or vegan? I'm, I'm only eating meat like two meals a week now. Okay. So I'm just trying to reduce it little by little. And then like I've switched to um, oat milk now okay. as well. Fantastic. So just, um, I know, I think, it's, yeah, it's yeah. a gradual change for me. I, I just couldn't think about doing like an immediate shift. I, uh, yeah, okay, it might yeah, it's have a bit some, too much for yeah. you. 
These these candies here, they don't contain any animals or animal products. They usually put gelatin, but these c contain no animal products. I don't even want sweets. I only came over to ask you because it says free sweets, but like, but now I've seen that. Mm. Do you understand why I'm doing this? It put me off eating, to be honest. Do you understand why I'm doing this? Yeah, of course, um, to um, keep people aware, basically, of yeah. what is happening, yeah. uh, because they don't see that. They don't. They they don't see this bit. Yeah. And what and what what can people do once they're aware? They can make different choices, or either stop eating meat, yeah. or if they don't stop eating meat, but I don't know. I think what's really interesting is the way in which I feel when I've had a vegan or, or plant-based meal is I feel a lot like internally I feel better than meat when you've got that really bloated, heavy, yeah. uh, disgusting feeling. Yeah, really. food coma after yeah. uh, a after sure. well, vegetarian meal. There is some vegan food now that will put you in a coma, but <laughs> it feels good ethically that no one had to be murdered or sure. suffered for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I, I, really yeah. don't, I haven't got a clue. Have you had a plant-based and vegan? Yeah. Yeah. So if you make, if you uh, choose plant-based foods in the supermarket, anything that says vegan, any uh, non-dairy uh, products or any anything without meat, basically, you're pretty good. No fish, no eggs. Yeah, that would be the right choice, I suppose. Yeah, pretty easy to make. Do you eat meat? No, not for five years. Five years. Yeah. Yeah. Since you knew what was going on in here. Yeah. yeah, once I found this out, I was like, well, what can I do to make a difference? And I found out that I was actually paying for it to happen. I was the maker of this horror movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you seem deeply affected. <laughs> See, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Well, that's the scariest movie ever made, and it's happening right now, all around yeah. the world. Uh, right here in the UK, Australia, America, wherever you go, there's animals being butchered and slaughtered every second. And the best thing we can do is choose plant-based options where we can. Uh, choose a vegan lifestyle. You can try Challenge Twenty Two. Yeah. Challenge22.com, they do a vegan challenge, they'll direct you to where all the stuff is. Really easy in Tesco, Sainsbury's, mm -hmm. get your vegan alternatives. Have some candy. Okay. There's no animals in this candy. Okay. Oh, they sometimes use gelatin. Yeah. But. Anyway, oh, that's good. Help yourself. Yep, challenge22.com. Yep. Thank you very much. No worries, guys. Take care. Do you guys want some candy? Help yourself. There's no animal products in there. <laughs> what was that website called? Challenge 22. Yeah, Challenge 22. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have to, you know, be a tomb, uh, like a grave for murdered animals anymore. Yeah, I guess. Right before Halloween. <laughs>